Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on how I take care slash style my hair on an everyday basis. A lot of people like out in public or out at work love, love, love my curls. So I kind of figured this video would be kind of handy on how I style my hair, what I use to wash my hair. Um, you know, the gist of curly hair life, I guess you can say. It is wonderful to have this hair. I'm truly blessed to have this hair because as I was growing up, my mom always told me a lot of people pay a lot of money for your hair, which she is so right because now that I'm older, I get so many compliments on it. I've probably always had compliments on my hair when I was younger, but it never really, I never really listened to them until I got older and when I got to work. When I started working, a lot of people were like, your hair is so curly, it is amazing. And I turned out, as I got older, I learned to love my curls and embrace them. So today, I'm just going to be showing you guys a video on what I use to what I use to style my hair, how I take care of my hair, what I use to wash my hair with. So if you guys want to listen and how I get my hair so curly and my little secrets, stay tuned, keep on watching. Okay, okay so to begin, even before you pay attention to styling your hair, it's obviously what you wash your hair with. So I always go in with the When Fig Cleansing Conditioner, and I know they had a huge thing saying that like a lot of people lost a lot of hair with it, and I think it only works for people who have really thick hair that want to maintain even the, even the curl, the frizz, or the shine. With If you have thin hair, do not use it, but it works wonders for me. And say I do run out of that, I do love the Garnier Whole Blends, and this is the repairing shampoo. I have the shampoo and the conditioner and Honey Treasure. It is Royal Jelly Honey. Oof, a lot of water just fell out of it because I just brought it out of the shower. Um, it has Royal Jelly Honey and Propolis Extracts, however you say that. Right now I am definitely going to shower, and then I'll come back after I'm showered and have my makeup on to show you how I style my hair. Okay guys, so after I'm done with the shower, I keep my hair up in my turby twisty. I do my face makeup before I even do my eye makeup because I don't want my hair to get too dried out when I want to go when I go to style it. Depending on the day or the weather, um, truly affects on how I take care and how I style my hair. But to brush out my hair, I'll show you guys what I do. So obviously I go in with a brush. I use the wet brush because it is very gentle on my hair. If I have knots from like previous night and I know I have knots, I'll go in with the, ooh, I don't know what brand this is, Extra Strength Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. This is it right here. My mom got a, like a small sample of it. Well, not a, it's not small. She got a bottle of it and it works wonders for us. We each have curly hair. My hair is a little more curlier than hers now, but we both have curly hair. So this is what my hair looks like out of the shower. Not brushed yet, so then I'll go in with a little bit of the coconut oil. I mean a little bit, like a good amount, like a quarter size maybe on your palm. And I'll just run through my hair before I even go in to brush it. And if I am in a true rush, like I need my hair to be curled and dried really, really quick, I will go in with my style cream, but I'll also go in with a diffuser. This is my blow dryer. It is a Remington blow dryer. I don't know the name of it, but it came with this diffuser right here. My hair is super, my hands are super slippery, but this is a diffuser that comes with it. And if it's wet, I need it dry really quick. I'll go in with my, obviously, after I brush my hair, go in with my style cream. I'll just go with this for like 30 seconds on each part of my hair, and it usually dries up pretty quickly. And my curls are very nice and fluffy afterwards. So, but it does take some time. But if I do need it, like if I need to be out of the house very, very quick, and I do have a little bit of time for my hair, that's what I will do. So, I'm gonna start brushing my hair, and I start from the bottom and make my way up so I'm not dragging curls down. Dragging curls, dragging knots down. And you just see how lovely this brush brushes out my hair so I'm not dragging knots out of my head. Everything, everything, I literally mean everything I learned on how to take care of my hair, I learned from my mom since she does have natural curly hair as well. Sorry, my collar's truly bothering me. 
And then I'll just go in and brush my hair all together. Okay, so after my hair is all dried out, I'll start getting the curled back by just like rubbing my scalp, activating the curls. <laughs> And then I'll go in, flip it to the side, and crunch. And again, since my ends are dry, they're pretty dead, I have to soak them. Not completely, but get them damped to get the curling product that I want to use work nicely. Okay. Now, since my curls are pretty much there, the curling product I used that I am completely in love with, my little cousin used it. She has natural curly hair as well, more curly hair than I do. But she says this works wonders, so I was like, you know what? I always looked for something to curl my hair that made my curls look lovely. And I finally gave in, I was like, I'm going to listen to her, and I went to go get it. It is the Shea, she or Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Enhancing Smoothie with Silk, Protein, and Neem Oil. Thick, curly hair, anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. Sulfate free and color safe. There it is. If you guys have curly hair and want something and tired of looking for something that helps your curls look beautiful, your problems are solved, go get this. It's at Walgreens, Target. I think it's also at Ulta, but it comes in a jar and it looks like this. What I do is I grab, honestly, a good amount. That's a little too much, but. Come on, there you go. And then I'll rub it in my hands. Put my hair completely down. I don't know if you guys can see this. And just start crunching all my curls. All right, flip back and then style the front. Do you guys see how curly it just got? This stuff's amazing and it smells amazing. I get so many compliments at work. Alrighty. And then I usually like to let it air dry while I do the rest of my makeup. I just grab literally a tiny bit more, rub it again, and go through the bottom in the middle of my hair in the back because usually that's where I miss product for some reason. And the front and the sides of my hair will look great and then the back is like, what happened? <laughs> Sometimes I wish my hair was a little lighter so you can see the curls, but sorry guys. So after I wash my hands, since I don't like the feeling of like that stickiness going on, put that away. I'll grab a little bit of hairspray just to make sure my hair does not go all crazy and frizzy and I look like Mufasa from The Lion King. Again, I always focus on the middle part though because the back of my hair looks kind of wonky sometimes. Okay, after I do wait a couple of days to wash my hair, I do not wash my hair every day because again, it is dry, it is curly. I have to take a couple of days to wash my hair. And that's even better for curly hair. If you have curly hair, if you have thick curly hair, do not, do not, do not wash your hair every single day. It's just gonna dry it out and you're gonna regret it. Trust me, I've done it. But my mom and I do this trick when we do remember, we try, we used to be like on it. We used to do it like once a week and now it's like Whenever we have time, let's do this. Um, but we go in with coconut oil. This is from Aldi's. It is a simple na nature Coconut oil unrefined cold pressed virgin oil and what we do is we grab a spoon We do, if if it's low because now ours is pretty low But if it's like up to here, we'll just grab it with our hands Massage the oil into your hands make sure it melts and then massage your scalp the scalp is where your hair grows, obviously, and that's what's gonna help your hair grow, look shiny, look beautiful. The ends, you can try to save it, go through the ends and just let your, your hair, if your hair is anything like mine and dry at the ends, it will soak it up immediately. It happens to me all the time. 
But anyway, if you guys can try to do this once a week, definitely do it. Or when you know your hair, def you feel like your hair really needs it, do this. Let it soak in your hair for up to an hour. Or if you want overnight, put a towel on your pillow so you don't get oil on your sheets. Put a towel on your pillow and sleep with this in a top knot. Promise you the next morning when you wash it off, your hair is going to feel so soft and shiny and healthy. So that's what we do at least. We try to do once a week, but we haven't done it in a while. But that's about it, guys. That is all for my hair. If we ha if we brush my hair after the shower, we'll like put it all together and cut the dead ends. My mom will do that for me just to get a little trim going on. But yeah, guys, that is the end of this video on how I take care of my hair. Okay, angels, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed on learning on how I take care of my hair and my secrets on what I do and how my mom taught me how to take care of my beautiful curls that I learned to love and embrace. So again, any questions, comments, concerns, needs, wants, or desires, please leave down below. Make sure you like this video, share this video with your friends, subscribe and become part of our angel loving family. I think I'm gonna call you call us angels, but that's because it's in my name, so you know. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to next week. I don't know what I'm doing, but I will see you guys next week. Bye. Mwah.